Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Mama's Music Reaction Channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views as well as talented artists from around the world. Now once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers and low views but I'm going to bring it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now today I'm going to upload six reactions. Um, I'd like to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers. We have passed 3,000 uh, subscribers. It is absolutely amazing before Christmas as well. So I'd like to say a big massive thank you for everybody Everybody has ta um, taken um, part in making this channel grow. I don't know what to say. I'm overwhelmed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought we was going to take like you know Christmas or just after Christmas, but we just hit it. I don't know where to go from here. Um, we we'll see how much we're going to surpass before um, to. Christmas is the target, 25th. So see how many subscribers we can get by the 25th of, um, 25th of, I was just gonna say 25th of Christmas, 25th of December, which is Christmas day. Um, so if you don't mind, continue to share my reactions and um, invite people to come over to my channel. And you know, just one person can make a difference. And if they like and see what I'm doing and, and they want to support, well, then they will subscribe. And if they subscribe, hopefully they will hit the notification button to indicate to them when my next uploads will be and my reactions. I'm going to do a number of more shout outs. Um, the way how I'm doing it now, instead of doing the shout outs, I'm just going to read the messages, what you are, um, what you are sending. So continuing on, this is Ozzy Kamara. This was reacting to the African King that I'd done. As you all know that I'm a, a solid support of Kea De Niro. I think he's absolutely amazing. And the things that he's moving, um, doing at the moment with these new uh, visuals is absolutely brilliant. Um, he said, BL4L, we move. I don't understand the, the, the short abbreviations. Um, BL4L, please explain that to me, Ozzy. But I hope you're having a lovely day today. Um, Please also, I am absolutely rubbish when it comes to pronunciations of names, especially if it's coming over from a different country, because I know that your pronunciation is completely different from the way how I will pronounce it. So I'd just like to say a big apology if I got, got anybody's names wrong, which is mostly going to be everybody's name, to be fair. Sorry, but I'm going to do my best. So if you... And break down your name and you know help me pronounce it right which so many of you guys have done so with the name of the artist and you stuck with me and um, and it's because of you guys that I'm pronouncing it right and getting it right so I'm look forward for all the corrections and the education that you guys are um, giving over to myself so that's like I say a big massive thank you for that continuing on Dennis ba um, ba Barnard Uncle Momo you are the best reaction bloggers keep the good job Thank you very much. He was responding to the African King as well. Um, Marina, I can't even say your, your surname, but I'm going to try. Um, Marina Pashkov, Pashkov Kenya. Pashkov Kenya. I hope I've got that right. You have typed in um, Ukrainian. So I'm going to highlight that all and put that into Google Translate and find out exactly what you're saying. But you was responding to the hard kiss. So let's say... Um, I think I've, I've never seen um, you send a message before, so I'll say hello, welcome to my channel, and I hope you enjoy it. Karen, continuing on, um, AK for, AK 90 million, how you doing? <laughs> it goes, I'm back now for reactions, and I love it. Thank you very much for coming back, man. How you doing? I hope you're very well. Hope you and the family are very well. I'm going to do some more reactions as I'm going along from various others. You know, I'm doing uploading six, so. I will try my best to um, call out all or read out all the messages that's been uploaded so far on my channel and hopefully it will cover all the, um, all the six reactions that I'm carrying out. Anyway, 
If this is your first time coming over to my channel, go over to the homepage, check it all out, work, is, work, work your way from the bottom up. There are so many fantastic artists that you'll be missing out if you just look at the tops um, and on the top. Go down to the bottom and work your way up. There are absolutely fantastic, I promise you, fantastic artists. If you want to follow me on any other um, social, media social media platform, go to over to my about page. There's various links that will take you straight there. You can follow me on Instagram, Uncle Mama Music Reactions. If you do follow me on Uncle Mama, um, follow me on Instagram, then please leave me a voice message. That would be absolutely amazing just to hear your voice. Anyway, moving on. This particular artist um, has the wow factor and I absolutely love them. I, um, when I first reacted, the second time when I reacted, I sent them a message to the, to the band. Good morning, Alan, how you doing? Um, to the management company. And um, he was absolutely amazing. He recommended me a number of other artists. If you um, check out my community page and you see the conversation that I had with Alan um, from, the Ginger um, from the Ginger Management. Um, and I have, I have sent a message over to um, Nathalie, but I haven't um, had any response back. I'm going to continue to do that and get a response back. And once I do, I'll upload it onto my community page for you guys to see. Um, this particular track, um, um, track, I hope I've got this right, is called Home Back. Um, I'm expecting lovely, lovely and loveliness. I know that they have been in the studio working for um, doing doing their next singles and they're um, currently working on their album um, as well and doing their practicing for their tour. Um, that's what, I, go off to my community page, um, you see that that's what um, Alan was talking about. And I know that the, I think the fifth reaction that I've done, um, he's put it on their um, page and that was just like, blowing me apart. So thank you very much, Alan. I hope you guys are well. I hope that this will upload. I know this has only been out, say, I think less than a week or something like that, I believe, or maybe just a week. So. If it does upload, I'd be really, really, really happy. If it doesn't upload, I'll send a message over to the guys and I'll just patiently wait until it will upload. But I'm a full supporter and I know you guys are. So you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it?
that was Ginger with Home Back. There is so much things that I need to go over regarding um, Ginger. First of all, it's such nice because, as you know, that I am a, a big fan of Ginger and I have done a number of reactions. I've gone way, way back um, from when she had dreadlocks, from when she had short hair, um, and when she had dyed her hair. And just to see the, the, the movement and the development from um, Ginger, um, from Tatiana I'm talking about. I know that the band has changed around. Um, to now it's Eugene Roma, uh, Roman um, Vlad, um, Vlad as well. Um, so that's who the, the, the current band are. If, um, for the, uh, this, I'm not talking to my, um, to my diehard Ginger fans. I'm talking to everybody else who have just come on board and find out about Ginger. Um, so it's just been um, a lovely adventure for, for me. And what I've seen as well is that the influence, the outside influence that she's, um, that they all particularly have bringing into it. So there's one part, if you go right back, they do, they start off with sort of like a reggae beat and they've, rock it hard then they've got a jazz beat and then they've got sort of like a folk kind of thing so they are very much in the current influence of other music and i love the way how they just bring it in there i know that outside of the heavy metal um the heavy metal culture what they belong into um individually um you'd be surprised that you know that um you know, like tatiana is um is coming from a, a jazz back background i think um vlad is um, is classical trained, correct me if I'm wrong on that, or if I've got that what's mix, mixed around. Um, and it's nice that they're bringing all that influences, what they have from the outside, um, individually into um, this mix as well. So when I heard uh, the, you know, the breakdown or the middle eight, so to speak, and it goes into that sort of like a folky jazzy thing, it was no surprise. And it was, but it was, a, it was a lovely, um, it was no surprise, but it was a lovely surprise that the way how they um, executed it, it was, and the way how they trans, the way how they transposed into the heavy metal straight into the, um, the into the jazz and then coming back out again. I think that was a lovely mix in the way how they done that. Excellent. The the video and the story told look is always high end. It's always, I mean, Noah when I saw that um, dark wall, a black wall, I've. I've is always high end um and and at the beginning when i first reacted to ginger to be fair i was getting so um i was getting so much energy from the stage performance rather than the actual videos and now it's kind of a slight kind of um a balance i've always said no i prefer their stage performance um, because i get much more from that i get much more more energy from that from the from the actual videos but now it's coming to a lovely, healthy balance, and it's nice to see that. And I don't know if it's because the um, their video. I, I don't know. I'm not saying that the video was, you know, dull or anything like that. The video was amazing, amazing. But I just felt that I just got more from the stage presence. Now this, like, especially this one, um, this particular track, um, back home, it gave me that kind of same essence, that same kind of high in energy. So I, I don't know what's going on there. Is it is it me or is it them that's doing that? Is it me just being like, okay, uh, you know, me of reacting and knowing more and more about Ginger that I'm saying, okay, wow. Or is this them that's actually doing that? I don't know. That's a, It's a lovely fight to have in my head. Um, I know you guys um, agree with me when I said, oh, you know, the, the stage presence has so much more. But let me know, when, now that you've seen this particular video, how do you feel? Is it still the stage presence for yourself or is it now like, wow, you know what? There's something's going on here. Um, I'll tell you what, they remind this video. Uh, in particular, it reminded me of something that what the hard kiss would do. And it's got so much, it's just got so much more. And this is one of the things what I said, I can't wait, please, if it ever, ever happens that Julia and um, Tatiana do, or, you know, hard kiss and Ginger do a, uh, co do some kind of collaboration, because that would just be absolutely amazing. And can you now see what I'm saying? Look, surely you can see that from when they done that middle late and done into the jazz kind of vibe, and you see what um, the hard, the hard kids can do. You know that them two, Julia and Tatiana, can can absolutely rock it together. Come on, you saw the collaborations with um, Alina Pash and um, and Julia on the Christmas. Um, I think it was a Christmas special show, and they both rocked it. And and that was just off. And they yes, they matched their two songs together, but it just show how easy it is for them to do the collaboration. And I just, uh, and especially when you see how they played and everything else. So I just think that um, Tatiana and, well, the Hard Kiss and um, Ginger, they can absolutely rock it. And it's like, question is, why haven't they? 
there have been so many collaborations you got um, in Ukraine with various other artists. Why hasn't this happened already? I know that they've been signed. Um, is it because they've been signed um, outside? Um, I, I don't know if it, um, it, to Austria or or Australia. I think it is. Um, so it's going to be much more um, difficult getting them together. Um, I don't know, but something's got to happen. Something's got to happen, certainly for for next year. Um, and I need you guys to go um, to go to um, uh, to the Ginger website and just push this forward, you know, and go to the Harkis and push them forward and and see if we if we can make this happen, um, because this is absolutely amazing. That chat was that is I you know every time when I see um, react to Ginger or the Harkis, it just signifies what I'm saying. And we need to um, solidify this. We need to really get on top of this and make this happen, you guys. I know you guys are gonna be. Um, come on, I want to see loads of response comments on this um, on this question. Should Ginger and the Harkis make a collaboration? I think I have asked this question before, but I want this to be more vocal now. I want this to be have loads and loads of comments um, regarding this, and we'll see about you guys, you connoisseurs, um, who who know, who know. Remember, I'm just I'm a newie to um, the experience of Ginger and the Harkis and Ukrainian music, and I'm thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this all. I really am. Um, but now it's like right, I'm really, really spot with fantastic, fabulous music coming from Ukraine. And now it's, it's, it's time to like ask these deep questions and well, as well as trying to get some interviews as well. This is absolutely amazing video. Never disappoints. And for that reason, I salute you. Fabulous track. I already know. I